Hello, I'm Adam Barillet and welcome to this video where we're exploring the essential oil of Spanish sage. Now sage is a plant that grows across the northern hemisphere and there are many different species. You do have to be careful when purchasing your sage essential oils because some, well, they're not the best and you want to be, make sure that you're actually getting the properties that you're looking for. Spanish sage is, of course, native to Spain and found growing up in the hills and the mountains there and in France and along the Mediterranean. It's a very hardy plant that needs very little water and has these beautiful purple flowers that apparently the bees love and make a stunning honey from. I'm yet to try that yet. But it's from the leaves, which have been used for centuries in cooking and in medicine, and many have believed that this is a cure-all plant. When we steam distill them, we get an amazing essential oil, which has great benefits for the body, and of course for the head, the heart, and the spirit. In this video, we're going to dive in and look at how you can work with Spanish sage for all its different benefits. One of the key things that Spanish sage really excels in is helping to improve cognitive function. If you've got something that you're trying to maybe studying or you really need to focus, maybe feeling scattered, or there's a big kind of time when you need to be on the ball, then Spanish sage is gonna be absolutely amazing. Diffusing it and inhaling it, or when you've got a brand where it's safe to ingest it, ingesting it can help to improve this cognitive function so that you are optimally at your best. But not only does it help with cognitive function, it's also really relaxing for the muscles. Try mixing a bit of Spanish sage in with a massage medium and a bit of a deep tissue massage will help you to feel a bit more re revived and relaxed after a big day or if you're feeling a little bit achy. Other people have found that using it when you've got a bit of a tension headache, feeling a bit stressed, or even women who kind of do a, a circle kind of massage over the abdomen if they're getting menstrual cramps have found some great relief in that way as well. Spanish sage is high in something called 1,8-cineol, which you also find in essential oils such as eucalyptus. So this makes it an amazing respiratory support essential oil. One of my favorite ways to use Spanish sage, especially if you're having a shower in the morning and it's a big day where you need to have your game face on, then pop a couple of drops in the shower and as the steam kind of passes by and picks up that, you inhale that. It helps to open up the lungs, helps you to breathe really deeply, and it's going to help you get in the right mindset as well. Other ways you can use Spanish sage to support the respiratory system, of course, is popping it in a diffuser, popping it in a steam, um, like a little bit of hot water and inhaling it that way, or again, mixing it with a carrier oil or cream and rubbing it over the chest would be really beautiful as well. Many people have found benefits using Spanish sage topically to help with things such as dermatitis, eczema and acne as well. So especially if you enjoy making your own homemade products, and these can be really enhanced by including Spanish sage. Spanish sage is renowned for really helping us to relax during stressful times. If you're feeling a bit overwhelmed, there's a lot of tension, a lot of things that you need to be on the ball for, feeling a bit of anxiety, any of these types of things, then really lean into Spanish sage. Inhaling it, popping it in a diffuser, getting it around you will really just help you come back to that center and feel more in control of your emotions, your head and your heart. Now for a long time, Spanish sage has actually been planted near graves because it is renowned for helping us to get through grief. Whether this is grief of a death of a loved one or just feeling grief because something has ended. You know, things are ending all the time. We have different, you know, relationships will end or periods of life, job opportunities, holidays, all these different things. Sometimes we don't get to experience something and we feel upset about that. If you're feeling heavy in the heart, then definitely lean into Spanish sage and it can really support you in letting that go. The other beautiful thing about, plant, if you really wanna go deep with Spanish sage, try and putting a little bit over your heart. It allows us to be vulnerable. Now vulnerable doesn't mean showing our weaknesses or, or kind of being a bit of a wet week. What it actually means is it means feeling confident and courageous enough to be authentic, honest, and true to other people. This means in the right situation, opening up and talking about how you really feel or how you really think, and knowing that this is safe to do. This can be a scary thing because we always wonder, how will the other person respond? Will they think I'm weird? Will they accept that? But what happens when we open up and show our vulnerabilities, show our weaknesses, show our fears, and share that with someone we care about? It allows them to do the same and this can cause more, um, more intimate relationships. 
So if you're scared to show who you truly are, if you feel that you have to put this brave face on all the time, but you really yearn to open up to someone, try putting a bit of Spanish sage over your heart. Take some deep breath in, maybe breathe in that aroma, especially as it starts to warm on your chest, and know that it's safe to be vulnerable sometimes. Now, if you're at least interested in spirituality in just a small amount, then you've probably heard of white sage and making smudge sticks out of this. However, because of the high demand of this, this is becoming slightly an endangered plant. You have to be really careful where you're getting your white sage from. You also want to be careful with white sage essential oil because it's going to have some different properties and not as favorable as Spanish sage. All the sages are great for cleansing energy. Clary sage is great as well, but I love Spanish sage. Whenever there is any kind of unwanted energy, whether it just be that grief, whether it be negative feelings, whether it be stress, whether it be the evil influence of other person, people, maybe someone just come into your space and it's just kind of brought a downer and you wanted to let that go. Maybe you're ready to get rid of the old and invite in the new. Any of these types of things, grab your Spanish sage essential oil. Now I know we love to burn smudge sticks, but when we've got an essential oil, you've actually got the power punch of the plant. It's almost like the soul of the plant in a really powerful essence. What I do is I get some natural water. So this is something such as seawater, rainwater, lake water, something that's not really been tampered with by man. And then I put that in a little spritzer bottle with about nine drops. Nine is a magical number, nine drops of Spanish sage. And then you can use that to spritz around yourself to cleanse your aura and cleanse your own energy. Or if you need to cleanse the space, you can spritz that around as well. Not only is it really great for helping to cleanse away energy, but it can actually help to open up more spiritual contact as well. If you're interested in enhancing your intuition, in mediumship, or any kind of spiritual exploration, Spanish sage can actually help you with that. In fact, what I've found with meditation is it can actually bring in epiphanies and new realizations. Now, in life there are things that we know, there are things that we know that we don't know, and there are things that you don't know that you don't know. The undiscoverable, the yet to be found, and Spanish sage can open up to those things that you don't know that you don't know. Sometimes we can see that, oh, we've got two choices. Maybe there's a third. Maybe there's a multitude of options. And sitting and meditating and having that Spanish sage around you can really help to open that up. Spanish sage has also been used throughout the centuries for honoring and connecting to the dead. So at times when you feel that you want to connect with your ancestors, if you are interested in mediumship, if you're doing anything that is kind of letting go of the past of someone who you, want, who you loved but has passed away, any of those types of things, when it's that honoring of the dead, connection with the dead, Spanish sage can also be used to help facilitate that connection. With such a spiritual energy around it, Spanish sage is amazing for the crown chakra. Of course, this is our spiritual center that connects us to our spirituality, our life mission, our destiny, and understanding our greater purpose or our full purpose here on this planet in this incarnation. It works so well in this center because it helps to clear away the distractions of life. There are so many things that are vying for our attention and other people's kind of um, intentions that will drag us off what we're meant to be doing. Spanish sage helps us to recenter and to refocus. And as we've already discussed, it helps us connect with those spiritual realms. It can help to bring in that inspiration and help you get back on your spiritual path or your life path. What I really recommend doing is sitting down with spiritual sage and just putting, sorry, spiritual sage, Spanish sage, <laughs> um, sitting down with it and just popping some music on, some music that inspires you or that lifts your soul. Maybe if you like to journal or write, just write and see what comes to you. Don't think about it too much. Maybe some inspiration will come. Maybe those epiphanies will come or new opportunities will pop into your head. As you connect with Spanish sage and really align with it, you're gonna find an opening and an excitement about where your life is heading. This will all come through the crown chakra and really help you to bring your spirituality into your everyday life. So if you're ready to work with your crown chakra and connect more with your spirituality on a daily basis, you definitely want to align with Spanish sage. You may like to try blending Spanish sage with other essential oils as well. It blends really nicely with some of the unique leaf oils. So think of things like lemon eucalyptus or manuka, um, or bring in one of the florals like lavender can be really beautiful as well. And that can create a really nice kind of just aroma around your home. 
but you may like to blend with purpose as well. Probably my favorite duo is combining Spanish sage with rosemary. This is beneficial in so many different ways. Firstly, rosemary is really good for everything to do with the head. It can help with those headaches, it can help with hair health, it can help with cognitive function and memory as well. So that rosemary and Spanish sage together is a great one-two punch. Also, rosemary is another crown chakra essential oil, which helps us to come back and remember exactly why we incarnated in this lifetime. So it's going to be perfect to combine these together. You may, for physical reasons, want to bring in other ones that will help with muscle aches and pains. Things like lemongrass, uh, wintergreen, any of the blue oils, so things like blue tansy or yarrow or German chamomile can be really nice when combined with this beautiful oil of Spanish sage. Or for respiratory, bring in a eucalyptus, bring in a laurel, bring in raven sour, one of them, to really help to open up the lungs. And again, rosemary can be great there because it can help really beautifully with congestion, as can cardamom. On a spiritual level, you could try making some really powerful cleansing blends. You know, bring the superpower oils from all around the world. I'm thinking of oils such as guaiac wood, frankincense, eucalyptus, all these would be amazing and definitely throw in some hyssop as well. Have you tried blending Spanish sage? I'd love to hear about your experience with it and so would everyone else. So please, if you've got a great blend, share it down below in the comment section. Let us know what oils you put together and what purpose you created it for. Spanish sage is such a powerhouse essential oil, but if you want to enhance it, especially on a spiritual level, you can bring in other gifts of nature as well. You probably know by now that I love working with crystals as well. And since Spanish sage is such a powerful cleanser, you can bring in any of the cleansing crystals. So crystals such as calcites, cryolite, polyocyte, apophyllite can all be great. But one of my favorites that always I reach for is selenite. Now selenite grows in these kind of beautiful white um, kind of blades and you can actually use this I call it like my spiritual lint roller so you can kind of brush it over especially at the end of the day and kind of just feel like it and you almost feel the shiver and taking away all the negative energy then get your Spanish sage in your hands and cover that over and it's like a double one two cleansing and that can be a really beautiful way to kind of reset your energy if you kind of find that there's a lot of negative energy, maybe you work in a healing center or, you know, something where you want to keep cleansing that energy, having Spanish sage in the diffuser and some selenite gridded in the corners of the room can be really beneficial as well. Now, I also like to look to the animal kingdom because when we look at the animal kingdom, they all have different ways of thriving on this planet. And for about 20 years now, when it comes to sage, the animal that's always stepped forward to me is the polar bear. Now the Inuit people call him Nanook and they believe that he has the ability to pass between this realm and the other. Because of his beautiful white fur, he seems to be there and then vanish into the environment. Is he still there or has he gone to another realm? So Nanook can bring forward the messages from the other realms and because Spanish Sage allows us to connect with our spirituality and the spiritual realm, when we work with Nanook or when we work with the polar bear, he too can guide us in how to kind of connect with those realms. The other great thing is being a white animal, he connects us with that cleansing and that spiritual energy. Astrologically, Spanish sage resonates really beautifully with Sagittarius. Sagittarius is the sign that governs our exploration, going out and exploring the world, learning how the world works. And Spanish sage will enhance us to do that, not only with our cognitive function, but by bringing new realizations, new discoveries and new epiphanies through contemplation and meditation. Because uh, Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter, the planet of expansion, this is also really strongly connected to Spanish Sage. Now, Jupiter rules Thursdays, so if you're going to do any magical kind of working and you really want to choose a day that enhances and has the right energy, then do your working with Spanish Sage on a Thursday because it's ruled by Jupiter. Now, remember when it comes to essential oils, not all essential oils are the same, and with the sages, you do want to be careful that you are getting the right essential oil. I'd love to hear about your experiences, so please leave the comments in the section below. And also, if I can help you to get a really top class Spanish sage and to help educate you more on a regular basis, I'd love you to join my VIP education group. Simply reach out to me and I can give you all the details on that. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm Adam Barrowley. Blessed be.